experience of an album. Um, I guess I'm a lot older than both of you guys. But uh, the experience of holding that vinyl when you were a kid, saving up your money and maybe making the judgment based on the artwork of an album cover, taking it home, researching it, reading who the assistant engineer was, the engineer was every lyric because you could read them, they were big enough, they had pictures, you had to use your imagination, it wasn't videos. Track 7 may have been the track that influenced you as a songwriter or as a writer to want to pick up a pen one day. So my point of that is that my eldest is 14, they love music, they really like a lot of the old classic rock stuff. But when they hear a new thing, they buy the track. And they press their download button, they buy the song. So track seven's lost. And I was the only guy. Because when I, and I tell you that when the iPod came out and I bought a dozen of them like every other guy, you know, I said, wait a minute. The story on the front of the magazine with the artist and the record guy and Steve Jobs was, all I have to do now is write three or four great songs and I can go tour. And I thought, you're killing track seven. But another thing, when I got on the phone to the guys, I said, at least for the 99 cents, give them a B-side. So that can represent the art, and this could represent the commerce. And the guy said, I can't do that, because there's mechanicals, and there's publishing. And, there's... and I said, well, this has all become about, about your Christmas bonus. It's about commerce. He says, Johnny, it's always been about commerce. And I thought, you've just turned into the devil, you know, because they've taken away the art form. And now eight years later, they're all saying, God, Steve Jobs, I'm not going to license him our songs anymore. Because, you know, and, and now they're all pointing the finger at him. But, you know, when, the, when the, the iPod came out, I said, wait a minute, you're killing the art form. And they, all they were thinking about was quantity and not the, the quality of writing a great album from start to finish. You know, Led Zeppelin IV, you know, Born to Run, Let It Be, you know, something. <clears throat> so... Um, as far as you know, getting it out there and downloading it, sharing it, dissing it, and adding it, I don't need another five dollars in my pocket. That's not going to make or break me anyhow. It's the um, just the idea that you know you want people to hear it, and so when they get a rain on that, when the kids get a rain on that, uh, they'll figure out a new way to have a career like this. Yeah.